Dear President Zelensky, Your Excellencies, it is a great honor to be part of this summit. That means that we do not forget Ukraine's formidable resilience and courage in front of aggression and atrocities. President Zelensky, I wanted to be physically with you on this day, but I had to address the Georgian Parliament on this very day. In the Parliament, we honored a minute of silence for the victims of this shameful page of the history of Europe and of the civilized world. It has been one year since the world has, was aghast by the images and videos taken in Bucha, depicting the horrific cruelties committed by the Russian aggressors against Ukrainian civilians. It was a chilling realization, a reminder to each and every one of us of the brutalities and crimes against humanity that can be committed by unchecked military power with no sense of impunity, no sense of international order, and no sense of the sanctity of human life. Your Excellencies, as these images sent shockwaves even for the farthest corners of the globe, we too in Georgia were horrified and devastated, but were also reminded of the direct experience of Russian aggressions against Georgia, its territory, its independence, and its statehood. Had the response of the international community been more resolute, their understanding of the true nature of the Russian regime, the repetition of aggression and the direct violation of international principles by direct annexation would have been maybe avoided in Crimea. Then maybe February 24, 2022 could have been yet another ordinary day in the lives of peaceful Ukrainian citizens. Maybe Bucha would not have happened. However, the reality is different. The impunity enjoyed by Russia allowed it to establish the use of military means as a common tactic against its neighbors. To this very day, Russia continues to occupy 20% of Georgia's territories, causing concerning humanitarian issues and hardships on a daily basis. This is precisely why every Georgian understands the devastation, the pain, and the suffering experienced by fellow Ukrainians. The reason why our people express their unwavering solidarity with Ukraine. Your Excellencies, today, doubts and hesitations have vanished. The international community understands that democracy and freedom for all are at stake, and that the choice is one of civilization between the rule of a dictatorial and threatening Russia that has turned to private mercenaries to conduct its war of aggression and our common endeavor to build a free, peaceful, democratic and prosperous future. Our unity today and every day against aggression, brutality, injustice and flagrant disregard of human life and international principles is stronger than ever. President Zelensky, I commend you and thank you for a vision of a global peace summit as the only way to achieve our true ultimate objective, to have our territories, our sovereignty and freedom respected. Only a world in which Russia renounces its imperialistic aspirations and accepts to turn into a state that, like others, has and recognizes only its own borders and that of its neighbors, can be a word of peace. President Zelensky, on behalf of the Georgian people, allow me to once again express our solidarity, wish you courage and unbreakable determination in the fight for your country's future and the future of Europe. I am certain peace will soon prevail through the victory of Ukraine and the Ukrainian people, and that Bucha's victim will not have died for nothing. Slava Ukraini.